Hello everyone, you are welcome to the third episode of the Manual Reinforced Concrete Design using RCC Design Excel Spreadsheet. In this episode, we will be analyzing and designing a one-way slab, a one-way solid slab. So the, um, the structural template that we will be using is RCC 31, okay? So RCC 31 is capable of doing the analysis and design. You can see A and D. Instead of using RCC 31, you can actually use RCC 91, okay? You see RCC 91 is also a one-way solid slab, but it is the table version. Just as I showed you in the episode one, I told you there is the actual version and there is the table version. So either use the actual version or use the table version, you still have the same result, okay? So in this case, I'll be using RCC 31. So it is open here already, okay? Or let me just close it and where well, does it matter? Since I've opened it, let me just, you know, continue using it like that. So you have to be in the main tab. So here I am. And just as I told you, anything that is in blue color, it means you can change. Anything in red color, you do not need to change. And everything in black color, you can change. Anything in green color, don't change. Just focus on the blue color, all right? So the location, the grid, it actually do not matter because it is just, uh, you know, yeah, it will not affect anything. So now let's go ahead with the, with the inputs. So for the FCU, of course, that's the grid of the concrete. Let's use grade 30, all right? Then FY, that is the grid of the steel. I have 460 here and let's use, let's use 410, okay? And then the grade of steel again, but for the shear reinforcement, I know what shear reinforcement means. Shear reinforcement is basically the link, okay? So um, let's use 250, okay? So um, then for the maximum aggregate size, okay? This is a slab. You can actually use big, big size. You can use like half inch or maybe three quarter down. So let's just use um, 20 or 22.5, whatever, okay? And then the partial safety for the steel, that should be 1.05. And for the concrete, let that be 1.5, okay? Then for the top cover, oh, well, let me just use um 20 by 20 okay that's the cover for the for the for the slab now you can actually design you can analyze and design up to six pans just as we did in the last episode and then you should always keep it in mind that whenever you are designing a slab the width of the slab is not necessary we usually design a slab for one meter span okay the b is usually 1000 mm okay for one meter span and that's why whenever we want to talk about the load we can say the load is let's say 2.5 kilo newton per meter then we now see a per meter run okay which tells you that per meter run and that meter is 1000 mm okay so in this case it's asking me what the length of my span will be so let's use um, a length of let's say 4.2 meter okay then of course i told you the width will not matter the width is 1000 mm by default so you don't need to fix anything here and then the thickness of the slab that's h um let's use thickness of 150 or let's just use 175 because i want to have a different input from what i've actually done earlier so if you want to use more spans let's say we have another one of 4.5 meter okay and then let's use the same thickness okay 175 so you can just keep going like that like that like that like that okay and then for the support condition, now you have to determine what the support condition is. Is it a knife? Is it a cantilever? Or is it a country? Okay. So if it is knife, of course, you know what knife is. Knife is um, like pin support, you know, pin support. Okay. And then cantilever, you know, when, it can't, when you have a cantilever slab. And then a country, that is when you have like a, um, you know, fixed, fixed. Okay. So um, that's fine. So you should know what the bending moment diagram will look like. Then for the load condition, I'll use 1.4 GK, 1.6 QK. And then for the the loading, okay. So for the dead load, let's use a dead load of two point. Let me use a dead load of three point five. Dead load of three point five, okay. And then impose load, according to BS, if it is a residential building, we should be having a impose load of one point five. So let's use the same load. Okay, that's the UDL. We are not having any point load. So um, this you can leave it or you can clear it okay the same thing for this you can leave it or you can clear it in as much as in red color you don't need to be afraid so because we are working with two spans that's why they are not essential if here in the span if you filled up to six spans here so definitely you need to fix all of this span 
for the load. So now we fix the boundary condition, the spans, the load, and everything. The next thing to see now is the um, is the analysis result, which is the shear force and the bending moment diagram. So let's come to action. Then you can see how the bending moment diagram looks like. You can see here we have auger moments. Here we also have auger moment. Here we have auger moment, and at these two points we have sagging moment. Okay. So this is for the elastic and this is for the redistributed load. Okay. This is the moment. Okay. So you see your um, support moment, 12, 116, 14.1. That is the moment. That will be the moment at this point. So the moment at this point is 12. The moment at this point is 11.6. And the moment at this point is 14.1. Okay. So what about the span moment? So the moment at this position is 6. And the moment at this position is 7.1. Okay. So for the shear force, you can go ahead and check the shear force as well too. Okay. So the shear force, you have 16.2. Now for the support moment, you can see the support here, right? So let's say, um, let's go back to the main. You know, I use Ekans tray, which is a fixed. Okay. So if I use K, let me use K, which is knife. So when you use K, of course, you know that at the pin support, the moment is equal to zero. Okay. So here you'll be having higher moments now. Let's see. Now you can see at this moment zero at this moment zero so i'll be having auger moment here and i'll be having a very high sagging moment over here okay so if you look at the sag moment now you see that's 17.3 that's what you have okay sorry the sorry the support moment here that's 17.3 and then let's see the spam moment the spam moment 10.5 at this position and then here you have 12.4 okay so any which way just decide okay so but i'll prefer to use it doesn't matter it's just for the sake of uh, the explanation but i just need to use to to get it exactly how it should be so if it is cantilever you can do that too as well so we've checked the analysis this is how the analysis looks like now let's see the design of course i've told you this particular template which is you know rcc 31 it can do the analysis and it can do the design so we've done the analysis let's see the design to see the design just come to span okay then we are considered about two spans right so span one Let's see the detail. So the this is the length, four two meter, whatever. So let's see the design. So you can see the moments. We've seen the moments earlier, so that should not be a problem. Also, we've seen the shear force. This is what the shear force look like. The shear force is high. So um, the effective depth that was one forty one point zero. So that's the effective depth, and then the AS minimum. The AS minimum is four twenty for all the all the spans. Okay. So now let's see the top rebar. So AS provided. I have um R um 12 mm so at spacing of 250 also this also this okay so the bottom so I have R of 250 as well R 250 okay so it says there is no link link is not required okay so it's a slab actually I don't know why it's requesting for link before but so that's um that's what we have there then let's see for the deflection the actual um deflection here is 29.78 okay then after it's calculated the basic span depth ratio we have 57.024 you can see this is even greater than what i have here okay so this is okay you can see everything okay okay and then what about here okay okay so there's something i will change i'll just come here and change this one to let's see 150 since the deflection is passing at a very high range sorry i click control s so here i will change this to 150 as well so that i don't you know i want to have something that is economical uh -huh. so let's come back to span and let's see So this is how you go about analyzing and designing a one-way slab, okay, using the RCC template. So um, in the next video, we will go forward and see what we can do with a two-way slab. Then from there, we will move forward to do more, all right? So if you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, consider giving me a subscription. Thank you for watching.